Our customers send us a Dell XPS 9720 with a 12th Gen Core i7, 32GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD, and he reported that the battery has failed. So today we are going to take this laptop apart, replace the battery, check all internal components and perform some basic maintenance. Removing the bottom cover on the Dell Precision and XPS models with aluminum chassis is always a bit tricky, because the panel is very tightly attached to the palm rest. There are 8 T5 screws holding the bottom case and I always recommend removing them by hand. These screws are very fragile and easy to strip, which can cause even more problems down the line. Normally, I start opening the bottom cover from the hinge side, but on this particular model it's much easier to begin from the front and work your way around. Using my pry tool, I carefully pop one corner and then continue releasing all internal clips around perimeter. Once the bottom case is removed, we get a clear view of the entire internal layout, and overall the laptop is in pretty decent condition. First thing I do is disconnect the battery. Replacing the battery on this model is very simple, just remove a few screws and the connector is straightforward and easy to work with. After pulling the battery out, I notice some dust build up around the cooling fans. I'll use my blower and a brush to clean out all debris from the internal component. Always make sure to hold the fan blades in place while cleaning so they don't spin. Spinning fan can damage the motor. This specific unit doesn't have a dedicated GPU. It's a basic configuration, so I decided not to remove the heatsink. It has two removable RAM sticks and two SSD slots. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card is soldered directly to the motherboard along with all external components. And that's it for today guys, as always, love and peace.